Hello everyone, I am Andre, and today we are traveling along the Indian Ocean in the west of Australia. After crossing three time zones, we landed in Perth after dark, where a car awaited us which would be our home for the next 10 days. We set up a tent after midnight, and in the early morning we headed off north, through the vast expanse of Western Australia. After only 400 km, we hit the end of civilization, in which there was only desert, heat and flies. Lots of flies. As you probably can see, there are the famous Australian flies. I can't even open my mouth. Further, there is a very important landmark that we had to visit. Pay attention to the name of the bridge. This is my bridge. Another day of travel has come to an end and we watched the sunset at Gladstone Lookout. After the sunset, we settled for the night at Wurramel Station. In the morning, we explored the farm, where we found a hangar with a plane in it, wind generator, a lost calf, and a hot spring pool. Traveling further north, we arrived at Carnarvon, famous for its satellite dishes. Some say that these dishes were destined to Cape Canaveral, but accidentally ended up at this small Australian town with the similar name. NASA built these dishes in order to observe Galileo Comet, and also so that the astronauts don't get bored without Internet. After the comet has passed, the International Space Station had fiber optic installed, this operation was closed and was converted to a museum. Slightly further north, and we cross the global invisible line, called the Tropic of Capricorn. So we reached the northern point of our journey, and we enjoyed our first Ningalu coast sunset. In the early morning, we sailed out to enjoy the whole day at the beautiful Ningalu Reef. The next morning we hopped on quad bikes and spent half the day riding the sand dunes. After lunch, we decided to hike along the coast, despite the strong wind that always present here.
In the evening, we went to Skeleton Bay, where sharks here set up a kindergarten for their young. Upon seeing thousands of fins in the water, we decided that it's best not to swim there. After chasing some crabs, we say goodbye to another day of our journey. Saying farewell to Nindalu coast, we packed up and drove south along the coast of the Indian Ocean. This is termite nest. There should be termites there. Hey, anyone home? <laughs> the road goes right along the coast and we stop to witness the strength and beauty of the Indian Ocean. The next stop is at a historical place named Hamelin Pool, which is home for the first form of life on our planet, the stromatolites. They have been here for three and a half billion years. This is three quarters of Earth's lifetime. These stromatolites were the first oxygen producers on our planet. Another interesting place is Shell Beach. As far as the eye can see, the beach is covered by shells. This isn't sand, but small shells. Not far from here is the Kalbari National Park, which we visited in the evening to watch the ocean life from the cliffs. The next morning we visited the inland of Kalbari National Park.
After that, we went to ocean side of the park, where we spent the whole day walking through the rocky cliffs. We spend the night nearby and woke up to an enjoyable sunrise. The journey nears its end, but we still have a few hours to pop into Pinnacle National Park despite the rainy overcast weather. And that's the end. Time to fly home. On this note, our journey to Western Australia comes to an end. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up, subscribe and see you on the road. Goodbye.